Yo guys, welcome back to your PDC Joe Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a Celebi VMAX deck here that makes it very, very hard, almost impossible. Yeah, okay, Celebi VMAX. Celebi VMAX does have the ability Curative Force, allowing you to heal 20 damage from each of your grass Pokemon. Looked at this before with Egg Row, but today we're going to be playing it with my Lotic instead. My Lotic has a very similar ability, allowing you to heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. So we set up my Lotics and Celebis, which are just stage one Pokemon, which makes them super easy to put into play. We just heal Celebi all the time. We we're healing like 100 damage a turn with the ability. We have Malolan in the deck. We have like Center Lady. And we're just pretty much sitting back, healing the Celebes, making it hard for them to win the game by just constantly healing and just going from there. Celebes max play attack for two energy can do 130 damage. Search your deck for two Pokemon, which lets you set up. 130 is a little on the weaker side, but with all the healing, it's like we're denying the prizes. Eventually, we will get my opponent. So that is what it is all about with the max plan and this deck idea so freaking the video of course shout out to the sponsor card cabin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdc geo pack codes get them over at card cabin card cabin sells pdc geo codes online for the cheapest so if you guys want to pick up any set codes like chilling rain battle style sword and shield rebel clash darkest blaze shiny fates get them all over at card cabin if you're looking for any promo gx or v codes any pre-release kick codes any like any promo pokemon tcgo codes get them over at card cabin if you get any codes over at card cabin at the checkout make sure to use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order to help channel help yourself out and up our car cabin so shout out car cabin check them out use called the f also if you want to give the video article deck profiles i have been posting a watch it'd be appreciated i posted one on the two urshifus we got in chilling rain the baby urshifus so this list i'm playing for my celebi deck um it's kind of cool now the only matchup you're probably going to auto lose to is fire because we only play one weakness card but honestly outside of like maybe leon's art i barely see fire anymore like i have not seen a fire deck in a very very long time no one really plays anymore i guess people are just scared of ice rider calyrex v max so fire is not as popular anymore which makes it a lot easier to pilot celebi um and without having to worry about getting bodied by fire this is the list i am playing here as you can see the Milotic puts in a lot of work with bright heal allowing you to heal 20 damage from each of your pokemon alongside selby now there is vile plume gx which i will look at eventually i do want to do a video on a lot of the gx's that are leaving the format um with rotation so the month of august you're gonna see a lot of like gx videos um vile plume selby would be a really cool deck i'm not gonna be looking at that today because i haven't made it list yet i want to try my lotic cell because it's more it's easier to get my lotic in play because it's a stage one pokemon as opposed to a stage two pokemon i am playing one snorlax with the setup in the deck uh the 4-4 celebi you could play a uh a memory capsule in the deck so you can use line force which actually does a lot of damage which is tempting to play the memory capsule if you want to play you can um, but i am going for big charm to give celebi the 340 hp to make it even more bulkier um got four turf field you gotta max out turf field because you have to watch out for uh path the peak which shuts off celebi altogether we got one calm four quick balls one stamp as a late game card Four tag calls for you know your tag supporters like we have three malana heal two goose mahala and then two caitlin cynthia four bird keeper to switch and then two boss two marnie one center lady is an extra heal card um a lot of the time you can like move celebi out of the active spot and put it on the bench heal it and if your opponent doesn't have a boss on that celebi that you just move to the bench the next turn you have you can keep healing it even more and put it right back to full hp so that's kind of why that's like one of our strategies in this deck is to switch celebi to another celebi that celebi that we switch gets fully healed in two turns or at least we heal it very much in two turns to put out of one shot range uh we are playing a bunch of energy three captures set up your pokemon one recycle because we celebi we can retreat for one energy so we can just put a cycle back in our hand that's why i am playing the recycle in the deck one we can discard if we do run into fire i don't know if it'll give us an auto win maybe we should just cut it all together five base grass and one aromatic energy to run out of the list that's the list let's go try it out and uh i don't know let's try to win a few games and i mean we're gonna probably get some long matches but we'll see how it goes okay here we go into our first match with celebi my low tick here we do win the coin flip which is great trying to get multiple basics down if we can that's the goal of the deck. we'll see what we're playing against it could be adp because they have an Arceus coin um so we need to put celebis in play and evolve them before my opponent finds boss's order all right no basics we have a capture energy though which i guess gives us the basic sure Ooh, we mulligan that many times? Really? They're playing a Gardevoir deck. Okay, so we'll grab Celebi. We'll play the turf field. Well, let's search the deck. Celebi is all there. We prize two of our Milotics. That's not good. But we're just going to have to go all in with Celebi then. Okay. Most of the stuff is in there. Let's score main dies. What do we get here? Okay, we got VMAX. No supporter. We have to tag call. I'll probably tag call for Goose Hala and then go with another capture energy. Get another Celebi down. We just need to set up a bunch of Celebis. That's 
basically our game plan here. Well, they might play Gallade, actually. We should probably not put too many Celebes down if they play Gallade, which they probably do. If they're playing Gardevoir, they most certainly have Gallade in the deck. I'm not risking that. Let's see, we top deck here. Well, there's Caitlyn Cynthia, which is something I was looking for. I was like Guzma Hala's play. Well, do we even have captures? We do. I'm going to Guzma Hala away, Guzma Hala. And probably the boss? I don't think we need it right now. Grab Big Charm and Capture. Seems good. Put that on. I'm another Celebi. Big Charm on, sure. And Gourmet dies. Not going to play Air Balloon. They might play a Tool Scrapper. And we got Feebass. So that's good. We find a Grass Energy too. Now, I don't even know if the Smarx is going to get killed next turn. We might play it very slow, but we could also... We can knock them out next turn. If we can find... If we draw an energy, we can knock him out. We can retreat the Snorlax with the Air Balloon. We can KO the Curlia, which I might end up doing just to get it off the board. But they will Marnie me. Okay, never mind. They have Marnie. So we're going to have to go Gourmandize again then, probably. We're going to have to go Gourmandize again. We'll see what we get here. Okay, another Capture Energy is always good. We got a Calm, too. So we can get another Pokemon down. Okay, they did prize a Curlia, which is good. Either that or it's in their hand. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, let's get another Celebi. This, grab another Celebi VMAX, and four man dies. That's fine. Just set up more Celebis. It's all good. There's another feedback. So there's Grass Energy finally. So they, if they KO my Snorlax here, we're chilling. Now, Gardevoir can KO my Celebi in theory, but it would need so much energy that it's probably never going to happen. Well, they don't have anything. Well, I don't really want to waste a Maulana here just to attack them. So... Probably just Gourmandize again until we find like Bird Keeper or they kill me. You know. Yeah, no, I don't really wanna I don't wanna Mal Lana with a with a with a tag call. I'm just gonna Gourmandize. Yeah, we can center lady to wake up our Snorlax. That's actually kinda funny. Okay, well let's see what they do here. I know I'm buying them a turn, and maybe I should just went Mal Lana KO. Might just have to do that this turn. There we go. That's also what I was looking for. Was draw Bird Keeper. It doesn't really matter. Um, quick Ball. We'll grab another Fee Bass. Just, we can get my low to the prizes. And now we're pretty much just set up at this point, I want to say. Um, I don't know if my opponent's going to concede after we KO them, because we are going to be healing 80 damage a turn, which is not good for my opponent. So we'll grab my low tick. As you can see, this is the deck when it sets up. Either, though, we don't really need the Snorlax to be in play, though. Snorlax being in play is kind of awkward. But we'll take the KO here on their Curlia. I'll just grab the bass Celebi, sure. It doesn't really matter. And the game isn't over yet, but they're going to have a hard time taking out my Celebi. There's another Milo Tick, which is perfect. So now we are healing 100 damage with our ability per turn. And we haven't played Malana and anything else. So we'll see if my opponent can stop the onslaught of Celebes here. We'll see what happens. Can my opponent defeat the Celebi deck? There's a Fog Crystal... Okay, they got a Rokorio. We don't have a way to KO Rokorio. That is one of the issues with the Selby deck is you don't really have boss targets because you can't one-shot to Denny Crobat or Rokorio. You can one-shot Moltres's though, which is decent. It's decent. If you play against a deck with Moltres, they do have Moltres you can boss KO, which isn't bad. Yeah, Selby, I mean, we're pretty much just chilling. They try to go Gardevoir here. They might be able to do like 180 damage, maybe 210 if they get really lucky uh, with their ability. But then it's like we just heal pretty much all that damage. And then it's just like, well, how do you stop that? How do you stop the Selby? I do, I'm kind of sad the Snorlax is in play, but you never know. Could be useful to have Gourmandize at some point. There's the Gardevoir. Let's see how much damage they can get going this turn. Okay, there's 150. But that's not going to two-shot me. They need to do so much damage to two-shot me. Yeah, just 150 damage. Unfortunately for my opponent, we are going to fully heal our Celebi here. Um, which is kind of insane, to be honest, how this, how this deck could just do this. Here we go. Cure to forest. Uh? Cure to forest. Cure to forest. Yes, sir. Keep doing it. Here we go. Now, bright heal. Here we do another bright heal. 
Now, we can leave ourselves with 50 HP because they have no other energy. So I'm highly, I'm doubtful they'll even attack me again. So I'm just going to max plant them. Like, they're not going to kill me, right? There's no way. We have 290 HP. It's like impossible. So we'll save the hand. And then next turn, we'll Malolana and just fully heal. Seems good. Sucks we can't one-shot, though. Maybe we should put a Vitality Man in the deck to do 140 damage, but not that big of a deal. You just spam Celebi every turn, and you'll get there. You'll get there eventually. But we're pretty much set up. The only thing is, Snorlax could have been another Celebi, but if I bench too many Celebis, we will get bodied by Gallade, which we have to watch out for. If anything, I'm going to get another Milotic in play. Okay, another Gardevoir. They're getting set up still, but again, it's like... As if they're if they're if only doing like 180 to 150 a turn, they're not gonna stop me. They're just not gonna stop me. We could probably just stay in the active, just center lady the active. We could get Marnied, I guess. If they if we ever get Marnied, we just retreat the Celebi and go into the other Celebi. If they, if they do end up Marnie me, we just retreat Celebi into another Celebi. And then the guy on the bench will just get fully healed in two turns, because we'll retreat the Celebi, we'll heal it with our one turn. Then going back into our next turn, and they don't boss that Celebi again, the Celebi on the bench that we just retreated will have another turn of getting fully healed, and then we just rinse the, and repeat the process. You get what I mean? Kind of the strategy of this deck. Uh, we'll see what they do, though. Bit of a grindy game, to be fair, but that's what Celebi's all about, bro. You get grindy matches. It's just too good. Okay, they are going to boss me here. Probably going to take out my low tick. Yeah, they're going to try to KO one of my low ticks here. So that will... Hurt a bit, but now we get to all fully heal the Celebi, and that's just not good for my opponent. I mean, that was a pretty big KO, but it, we just do this. And then we're just back to doing our uh, back to doing our thing, you know? We just fully heal ourselves. And now my opponent's back to square one. You know? And do we want to do anything this turn? Do we want to... Do I ever want to Caitlyn Cynthia for boss's order? Not really. You know? Not really. Just gonna keep doing max play. And we did prize a guard of or guard of, we did prize one of our Milo ticks. Maybe we could put an Orne Rod in the deck, but this is like a rare matchup where we actually don't want to put too many Selbies in play in case of a Gallade. Amp is a good prize. All right. Well, to be fair, too, if they do get a Gallade in play, I mean, Gallade's only gonna do what 240 to 60 times. That's like, ooh, they baby Blown. Uh oh. Okay, now I wish I had Caitlyn Cynthia for the boss, but we don't one shot Guard Horse. So we have another. Okay, we'll Caitlyn Cynthia for boss next turn. I should have gotten the case of the for boss, but I, I, I didn't expect the blown. But I guess I should have because I played it in my list. I don't know. Maybe I should have predicted it. I played it, so clearly other people might want to play it too. So I don't know. That is scary. They can take out my low tick with that. Another way to KO my low tick. There's a rod. Okay. It does suck we can't one-shot guard war, but they can barely... They, they, they're never going to KO a Celebi. It's so hard for them to do it. It'll probably take them like two or three turns to KO a Celebi. We're just going to tag call for boss... But the problem is, is they might Marnie me. If we have a boss in our hand, they might just go Marnie. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll see. We're we'll probably going to put another Celebi in play. If we go Quad Celebi, I mean, what Galilee does 240 damage. That's 60, 120, 180, 240. Oh, no. They're going to boss my Milotic. Hey, they really don't like my Milotic. I'm sorry, little one. That might be their last boss, though. I can't imagine them. I don't know if they'll have room for three boss. Gonna, I'm just going to take one card, because if we do get Marnie, I want to make sure we have some kind of retaliation. Get rid of Quick Ball, it's not really needed anymore. We might get Marnie. I mean, they definitely have a Marnie in their hand. There's no way they don't, or there's no way they're not going to find one. Like, their hand is massive. Um, but, yeah. If they don't have it, we'll Kale their Blau. And make them find another Rod or something. Let's see what happens here. They might hit me a little harder this time. They will be able to attach the Shiny Narcana probably twice, so they'll get more energy on. And then we just Maulana or Center Lady, and then it's like, well, not going to work. Not going to work. I am a little scared of the Gallade because it does a lot of damage, but we can still fully heal it thanks to Maulana. Like, we'll Center Lady the, against Gardevoir, and Gallade should only do 240 damage, so we can still pretty much fully heal the damage it does to us. Uh, putting a rod in the deck might not be terrible, though. Getting grass energy back is kind of decent. Also, getting back on my low tick could be good if they try to attack it. But I feel like if your opponent's ever going to boss you, they're always going to boss your Celebes or... Yeah, they're just going to boss your Celebes. They're not going to go after the Milotic. But in this scenario, they did. Bass is a sitting duck, too, which kind of sucks. This is why we need to boss the Blown. Because Bass is a sitting duck right now. 
If they KO my Feebas here... Yeah, there's the Marnie. Rip. If they KO my Feebas, then uh, they just need to KO a Selby to win the game, which, I mean, they can still get to at some point. No, we got a handful of energy. All right, now we're just going to have to retreat back into another Celebi. That's pretty much the play. <laughs> Again, I don't know if they play three boss or not. Or we could go into Snorlax and not KO the Gardevoir. That is also an option. I'm tempted to do that because our hand is terrible. Okay, they have another rod. Yeah, rip. Our hand is really bad. If we knock out Gardevoir, they get Oracorio, so I don't know if I want to do that. I might just say Sayonara to my Feebas, to be honest. But we didn't get a heal off of that, so I think we just go Gourmandize and suck it up, you know. We could just, we just go Gourmandize. I think it's fine to just do Gourmandize here. And they're only doing 150 damage, so they're barely fun to dent to me. Or we drew Sinlin. All right. Maybe not. I'm still going to retreat, though, to try to deny them the prize. I think that's still pretty fair. All right, here we go. Cure to Force. If we had my low tick, we'd be healing 100 damage, but we don't have it. Yeah, my man Feebas here might be a goner. We'll see. We have 270 HP. Um, still can't, can't even can't even get killed by Gallade. If we KO them here, we get we lose our Feebas. Is it time to say goodbye to Feebas? I think we can still win the game with four Celebes, but. Well, they could always... They could just kill my Feebas right now if they wanted to. I do like going Snorlax here. I actually kind of like just going Snorlax and just goring Gourmandize. Try to find more heals. Just... Yeah, let's just buy another turn and just Gourmandize. I'm fine with this. I could Sinlin for the Bird Keeper in case they don't kill me. All right, we got Tag Call and Air Balloon, which is actually perfect. They can also Marnie KO me here. Fine if they do that. Let me get to refully heal our Celebi. Just want to find Boss's Order. I just want to make sure that Blown is knocked out. Both Boss are in the deck. I do also... We got to be careful they build up a Gardevoir, but again, I, it's pretty hard for them to KO a thing in one hit. It's like... I don't even think it is possible. They would need so much energy. And they're already down a lot of energy at this point. And they should be out of Rod. Like, they're down 9 energy in play, 2 in the day. That's 11 energy. They probably only have, like, 13 or 12, maybe. So, they're, like, probably really low on energy here. They might play Energy Recycler, though. I guess we have to watch out for that, too. Okay. Let's see if they kill me. They do. No, they shiny Narcana. We could have Caitlyn Cynthia before we went Gourmandize, I guess. But I kind of like saving Sinlin also for Malvana if it ever comes down to it. I think it was fair just to rather just save my Sinlin here. I don't think we're going to draw Boss's Order, if I'm going to be honest with you. I think Feebas is just going to be a goner. We're going to have to try to win with four Celebes only, which I think we can still probably just win with four Celebes, to be honest. I might just be overthinking it. I mean, we have like a jillion heal cards in the deck. It's still probably possible to win for Celebi. Boss? No. Center Lady's good. So, I guess we have to walk into Fireworks Bomb. I mean, we don't have much of a choice. We have to start attacking, so I think we're just going to have to walk into a Fireworks Bomb. It is what it is. We only have one boss in the deck. Never mind, we don't have two. We can Sinlin here. I literally don't want anything back. I'd rather send them for a heal card. So we're just going to hold that. Okay, well. We're going to get KO'd by the... Well, are we are going to lose Feebas? We're not going to have another Milo Tix. My, my, my opponent really liked my Milo Tix. But again, I don't know if they're going to be able to take me out. Okay, there's another boss. A little too late for that to matter. Well, no, I guess we can still go boss, boss, or Corio. KO the Blown and then just boss or Corio twice. That probably works too. Instead of taking out two more Gardevoirs that take two shots... It might be better just to go after the Oracorio at this point. We, have, we still have Sinlin boss. Yeah, that's why I say the Sinlin. It's like, we might as well use it to get heals back if we don't use it for boss. Maybe I should have just gave my opponent... I, maybe I shouldn't have given the Snorlax now. I'm thinking about it because now... 
if they ever do kill a Selby, we lose. But if they ever, because they, if they just killed my Feebas after we didn't give them the Snorlax, Snorlax was still in play, they would have to take out two Celebes. That might have been better, actually, is to not give them the double Celebi KO. To be honest. They play a Kaelin Cynthia on their deck? Really? That's a pretty random card to see. They're going to get boss. That's fine. They can't two-shot me. We could even just boss kill the Curlia. The Blound is not really doing much after we take this knockout. I might just do that, actually. Just kill the Curlia with boss. They could turn into a Gallade. We might as well kill the Curlia here. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Curlia. They can do 30 here, and they'll have... What? Nine damage counters left over? We'll have 10 damage on us, which is fine. We... That's not, like, we're not going to be in range of getting KO'd if we have 10 damage on a Celebi. I think we'll KO the Curlia. But we can also take out Blind and then go boss boss on our Corio. Yeah, sorry, my low tick. I wanted my low tick to do more work, but yeah, they, my opponent just didn't want me to set one up. Could Marnie them, too. We know they have a boss in their hand, which doesn't really do much for my opponent. Just keep healing. Just keep on healing. Just retreat. Um, kill the Curlia so it doesn't turn to a Gallade. This thing's gonna get hairy if they get a Gallade in play. I guess that's one way we could lose. If I didn't give them the Snorlax, then yeah, them killing Gallade would be really bad. So, kill that. Watch, we're gonna get my low tick. There it is. But that is cannon fodder for Malana, though. I probably should have attached an energy, but we're gonna have to retreat the Celebi, probably. Or we're going to mal on it, so it doesn't really matter. We'll see what they do here. They can't win this turn. Like, there's no way they can kill a Selby. So, we're fine. Unless they have, like, some secret tech card I don't know about. I know this game has been very long, but, I mean, you're going to get that when you're when you're playing a deck like this. Especially when you're only doing 100 and, what, 30 damage a turn? You're not even one-shotting the Stage 2 Garvor. It's just that sad. It's crazy that we have not played a mal on yet, but, I mean, against decks that don't do much damage, it's just... How are you going to stop the Celebi? You know? It's just that insane. Like, even my opponent tried to, like, confuse Ray Stall me. That's not going to do anything because I can just center lady. I can attempt romantic energy. They literally have no win con. Honestly, we might just win by attacking the Gardevoirs and just taking our prizes naturally. They're probably out of attackers now, too. They're down two rod. They have no rolls left in the deck. They are going to Marnie me, which is fine. We should still find a Malon off this. I think we're still going to be out of range of getting KO'd. Yeah, we got Malon. It's all good. It's going to say there's no way with it. There's Level Ball. Going to fail it. I wonder if they even play Gallade. I'm going to take a look at their list after. I really want to know if they play Gallade. They should have went for Gallade the whole time. Okay, they have a lot of energy on. They're not one-shotting me. We're still healing Celebi pretty much. I'm pretty sure Gardevoir has no way to KO me. Okay, I mean, they got as much damage modifiers as they can use. Does Vidati Band even fix any math? I don't know if it does. I guess let's Brainwave for 3 energy do 160. That's actually not bad. Okay, they did way They did a lot of damage. Holy. We have Stamp, too. That's pretty busted. Let's go Cure to Forest. I guess we could lose, to be fair. Oh, no. They could one-shot my Celebi. Because if they're doing 250, we can't one-shot them. That's a yikes. But we can stamp them here. And then make it so they can't find their boss. It's going to have to be the play. I think our boss is pretty relevant. How much HP do we have? 290. So they'll still need two more energy to KO me. And they are down 7, 9, and 6. 7, 9, 6. Right, like, 9 and 6. They are down 15 energy. They actually just should straight out just be out of energy. Yeah, they should just flat out be out of energy here. I'm pretty confident they are out of energy. Okay, for good measure, we should go into the one with the big charm on, just in case. They should be out of energy here, I'm pretty sure. If they're, they're down 16 energy... They're down 15 energy. There's no way they play any more than 15. They could play an energy recycler, but that'll clog their deck up if they try to play that. This is a close. This is a lot closer than I thought. They have 16 energy? 
and they got the boss off the stamp? Bro. Okay, that should still not KO me, right? What the heck? They actually have 16 energy in the deck. And they found their... Off of my reset stamp to two, they actually found the two cards they needed in their deck. Oh my gosh. Stamp does not work. I told you guys it doesn't work. They do concede. I had to heal because the Blacephalon was still in place. We had to heal still. All right, here we go into another game with Celebi VMAX here. And uh, we have lost the coin flip going second this time. No, we're still going to go first, which is nice. Snorlax start maybe? No, but we do get it, so that's good. Now, do we want to retreat into Snorlax or do we want to stay in the active? I don't know. Both are actually fine because, I mean, as long as things go well, we actually should have a turn two Celebi VMAX. I don't know. Blown, another Blown. Everyone's got the Blowns today. You know what? We'll stay in the active. We're doing it. I'm doing it. We're staying in the active. We're staying in the active. That's fine. Yeah, no Snorlax. I mean, we have Simlin, right? We can buy a turn. We'll see what they end up doing here. Um, Probably Simlin away our top deck? Or I might just Goose Mahala and just grab another energy, to be honest. I might just do that, too. I don't know. Catcher? What the... Okay, Tails, that's good. They're probably going to bring in Feebas. Okay, they have a Marnie. That's unfortunate. We lose both of our Celebes. However, we get a chance of getting an energy now. So I actually would like to kill the Blown. As you saw, the Blown can take out my low ticks. Okay, we got the energy. Big Charm. Marnie's pretty good. Energy Spinner. Is this another Gardevoir deck? What's it? What is it? Bird Trio. Oh, no. Sky Legends actually could be... Well, actually, it's not that bad. Another Celebes good. Sky Legends might not be too bad. Well, Sky Legends is 110, right? Well, oh, that doesn't even one shot in my Melo Ticks, which is kind of busted. I was Marnie them. They're playing a Bird Trio deck. I don't know about the Blown, though. I don't know. Okay. This is fine. We didn't get a follow-up support or anything, but, I mean, we don't need one right away. So, I think it's okay. Because we can just grab Snorlax and just retreat into it and just buy another turn. We're pretty set up right. So, we're just going to max plan here. Take the KO. We'll grab probably just double Celebi, to be honest. No, we'll grab Celebi my low tick. I want to get another uh, my low tick. We have four turf field. We should find a Celebi next turn. So we'll just grab Celebi my low tick here. Um, Bird Keeper's perfect. Yeah, because we can just quick ball something away and grab Snorlax if we really want to Gourmandize, which now we don't have to. They just concede. All right, well, I'll keep that in. Now, we've got set up really well. As you can see, if you're able to just get a bunch of Pokemon and play, it's great. And Celebi being able to grab Pokemon is also really good. Okay, we are up against ADP again. Again, this matchup is kind of sketchy because of boss's orders just being too broken. Okay, it's a good start, though. We're chilling. We got a decent hand. Matchup definitely is tough, though, so I don't know what to tell you. Got three Pokemon. Nice. That's what you like to see. Got Feebas. Balloon. And Gormanda. Could have got another Celebi, which might have been better, to be honest, but they're not going to alter me just yet. There's a quick ball. Hopefully they don't play Marnie in their deck, and hopefully they don't find Marnie here. That'd be great. I like my hand. And that could start attacking right away. Zamazenta. Now, that's a little annoying, but they're doing 160 a turn, which, again, we can pretty much deny them knocking me out, so I'm not really too scared of the Zamazenta. Because this damage just isn't very good. That's why I'm not worried about it. But it is still annoying, but it is what it is. I don't know why they're playing it, but... Sure, let's just play Zam. Oh, wow. That's fine. I wouldn't even mind if they put Pokemon in play. I'd actually prefer if they did that, especially if they do Marnie me here. Especially if they do Marnie me. Dene, now they are bench locked from benching Eldegoss or Crobat for the time being, which could be decent. The fact they play Zam tells me they play Crushing Hammer. Which is not annoying. Okay, no, they just Intrepid Sword. Never mind, they don't have it. Pretty cool. Uh, see, so we draw. Bird Keeper. So we'll go here. And we'll go here. We'll Quick Ball Wave on Grass. I mean, if they play Crushing Hammer, they play it. We'll grab Celebi. We just want to make sure we get Celebi's down as soon as possible. Catch, bird keeper. Another Celebi. All right, now this is this is an ideal setup. Matt, what? Dauntless Shield, bro? What are you talking about, bro? ADP doesn't have no Dauntless Shield. What the actual heck? What? Bro, that's actually kind of funny. That happened. If ADP had Dauntless Shield, bro, that'd be so stupid. That'd be ridiculous. You know, I wish I did a Memory Caps on the deck. Because we could one-shot. We can kill them next turn. Maybe we should play it. Honestly. Maybe we should play it. Or Fatality Band would do us too. We can two shot them with Fatality Band. Maybe we should play it. Our hand is really good though. We can also. I don't even know. I mean. Ooh, they're gonna boss my Melotic. That's fine. We have Bird Keeper, so it's all good. 
Good they wasted a boss too. I am worried about the Zam though. I don't even know how we deal with that. We have to just save our bosses, I guess. We can chase after my low ticket. Or we can chase after We can chase after the Mawile and stuff. Bench Feebass. I don't want to bench Selby. We could get KO'd. Max plan. Yeah, I wish we did more damage here. That might be something we should probably consider putting in the deck, to be honest. It's just ways to do more damage. We're chilling, though. We're pretty well set up here. The Zam is really annoying. I wish they weren't playing that. I don't, like, ADP playing Zam doesn't make any sense, so it is annoying they have it. Very annoying they have it. But the ultimate Raimi, we're going to fully heal ourselves, so it's not a big deal. And Zam won't be able to do much for much longer, because with Cycle Energy on, we can just keep walling this thing. We can't damage it, we can wall it. Okay, fine. KO their ADP, and with Kaelin, Cynthia, and Boss, we can KO their Dedenne and Mawels and just win the game that way. I ain't scared of your big, ugly Zamazenta, bro. I ain't scared of this big, ugly card. Uh, let's see we draw. Grass Energy's really good. Alright, so start healing. Get to the healing. Nox being in play kind of sucks. We could have had another Celebi in play. We could have been healing a lot more damage. But that's fine. I do like having this turn to just kill the ADP, though. Actually, we're healing so much damage. Do we have to mount Lana? No, we definitely do, right? We have 230 HP. They can't even one-shot me in return. They have to go Zacian. They would have to have an insane amount of cards to kill me. I don't think they have it. We can save Malana. I actually don't think they have the knockout here. I'm going to call their bluff and say they don't have a KO. I'm going to uh, sell their Celebi. Okay, we got the boss. We did prize one of our Kaelin Cynthia. So we kind of want to get a Kaelin Cynthia the prizes here. So we can keep doing the boss loop every turn. Let's see. Perfect. First prize. What else? Bird Keeper, more supporters is good. Another Feebass is good. And if they boss Celebi with Zam, they're not going to KO it anyways. They have to go, they have to do an insane amount of things with Zacian to kill my Celebi, and I highly doubt they're going to get it. So, I think it's safe to keep it, and that's what I like. You just retrieve the bench, heal it in the background for the next turn, because now it's going to be healed next turn. So, you can kind of see why I like it. If they don't Marnie me, or stand me, we're going to boss their Dedenne. Okay, they do have a boss. Bro, no way they're actually going to have the play to KO me in their hand. There's no way. There's actually no way they're actually going to pull that off. They have a, a bro. What the heck? No way. Oh, they could have e-switched off. Bro, they're actually going to kill my Celebi. They, there's no way they actually had all that. There's no chance. I, I was going to say, bro, there's no chance. There's absolutely no chance. Pretty spooky, man. Jeez. Relax there, buddy. I know you're playing ADP, but bro, you need to chill out. This kind of is awkward because I want to do another... We, we need a boss this turn. But if they have another boss, my Celebi, it will certainly go down. I can't mount Lana in. So, we might lose our Celebi next turn. Right? We have 100... So, they have to have a energy boss in their hand to kill my Celebi. We have to go back into our Celebi. At the boss or the Dene. Right? If they have it, they have it. I have to do this, though, because I have to take my prizes, right? If they have it, they have it. I can't do much about it. It sucks they have to play Sam, though. I wish we had, like, an escape or something. Again, we have to just win by going boss. It's good we took out the ADP, because now we have to win by bossing the Dene a few times. Okay, that's good. Do they have a saucer? Saucer boss? No, I'm just going back to the Zam. Let me just sit back and kill Cynthia. No, they do play Marnie. Okay, they actually do play the Marnie in the deck. Not good. I have to probably come to Strong next. We got to send them. Dauntless shield, bro. What the heck? All right, that's fine. Not a big deal. We're not even attacking this, so it doesn't matter. Annoying, but on the end of the world. Perfect. Maulana. But I do want to send them for the boss. Ah, it sucks I actually do play Marnie. This is a very unpredictable ADP deck. I mean, Zamazenta. Dauntless shield, bro. What am I playing against? I do think it is just correct to go Snorlax here, though. Though I do wish we don't have to... I don't want to hard retreat the Celebi. We're probably going to have to. We just want to find Recycle Energy. We should be chilling. Okay, 
get rid of the romantic, I guess. I want to keep the tech holes. The back boss. Might not get a big gourmet death, but now we can bench more things. Oh, triple. Maybe I should get rid of tech call then. We just got triple tech call off of that. That's insane. Oh, no. This actually makes a Marnie really bad. If not, if no Marnie, though, it's not bad. But they have a Marnie. Both boss go to the bottom of the deck, which really sucks. We have no turf field to shuffle. Please don't have a boss. Or please don't have a Marnie. All right, research. Perfect. That's not a boss. Or Marnie. So that's good. Snorax will go down. We kill their Dedenne. Let me go boss again. Okay, I'll Cynthia for boss and then win the game. But will we have enough time to pull that off is going to be the big question of the day, guys. Will we have enough time to pull off the combo I'm needing to do? That's the question. I just kind of hope we can draw a uh, another basic there to keep the healing up. I want to be healing 120 a turn, you know? But we're healing a ton of damage. This is fine. Put the recycle on. Boss to Dedenne. Take it out. Cool. Let me set the boss twice more and we win. If not, we lose. I'm gonna go for the Milotic route. Actually, no, we could go Celebi. If they boss KO it, we can get it back. Okay, well, what if they play a Leon? Okay, if they just Leon me, we literally lose. We could just lose this turn to a Leon. Um, We'll see, though. No, they're going Zam. Then maybe they don't have it. Hopefully, they don't Marty me again because we do have boss on my while. Maybe it is good to go sell because they come my Selby and take three prizes. We can just stamp them to one at some point, which might not be bad. But knowing the cycle on, they don't have to keep doing download. They... Oh, no. I just went with the boss. So we just lose now, right? Yeah, this if the <sighs> Zam is definitely a problem. Most AD Peels don't play it. I think we will lose this game, though. Um, What are they doing? Oh, I see. Yeah, we just lose. Unless we find Stamp here, which I doubt we're going to do. Ooh, they bench another ADP. How many switch are they down? One row. They haven't played a switch yet. Never mind. Boston ADP will not do us anything. Okay, well, now we do just lose to another boss. And they definitely have it in their hand. They can't bench Eldegoss, though. If we can find Stamp here, we could win. We need a top deck Stamp, though. That's not reset Stamp. in there they probably have boss they have one left in the deck probably in their hand there's not much i can do about that right there's just not much i can do about them having the boss in their hand so if they have it they have it you know i can't do anything about it um make them find boss switch i guess Make him have boss switch. That's the play, I guess. And then next turn, try to get the try to get the reset stamp. Yeah, they have it. They have it. Again, ADP is it's a it's a tough matchup. Zacian gets three shot. Boss's order is a huge issue, especially with my low ticket play. Um, they have yeah. They're probably just gonna win here. They probably have boss. Their hands massive. There's a chance it could be prize. There's a chance it's at the bottom of the deck. There's a chance they do not have it. Like with one in the deck, and they still have ten cards left. There's a chance they don't have it, but they probably do have it. Just play it. I know you got it, buddy. I know you got it. Yeah, I know you got it. Anyways, that'll be it for the video, guys. On the deck, we do get 60 coins, and we got the ladder done. Unfortunately, we just couldn't beat ADP, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's a tough matchup for this deck. And honestly, I don't know really what else to add to the deck other than maybe another line of Milotic. Like, 4-4 four, four Milotic could be good. Um, I don't know. The Memory Capsule Vitality Man, honestly, might be really necessary so that Celebi can do more damage. Um... Genuinely, that might be needed for sure. I might, I'm definitely gonna revisit Celebi with Vile Plume, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, Memory Capsule and Vitality Man, I think definitely need to be added to the deck. It might help out quite a bit in that ADP match. It might actually make the ADP match more winnable because you could two shot the ADP with Celebi. It actually becomes a lot more winnable. So, Memory Capsule, Vitality Man, definitely consider adding both of them to the deck. They might actually make a big difference. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys, on the Celebi Malachi deck. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. New to the channel, subscribe, help me in the road to reaching 18,000 subs. Thanks for watching. Check out Car Kevin. Bye.